Q1. What is the difference between priority and severity in manual testing? Can you provide examples? Priority. The order in which a defect should be fixed. It is business driven. Severity. The impact of the defect on the application. It is functionality driven. High severity. Low priority. A crash that occurs on a rarely used feature. Low severity. High priority. A typo on the home page of an e commerce site. Q2. Explain the concept of final, finally, and finalize in Java. Final. Used to declare constants, prevent inheritance, on classes, or prevent method overriding. Finally, a block used for code that must execute after try catch, like closing resources. Finalize, a method called by the garbage collector before an object is destroyed. Q3. What is polymorphism in Java? Provide examples of compile time and runtime polymorphism. Polymorphism, the ability of an object to take many forms. There are two types. 1. Compile time polymorphism, method overloading 2. Runtime polymorphism, method overriding. Compile time polymorphism, method overloading, methods with the same name but different parameters. Runtime polymorphism, method overriding. A subclass provides a specific implementation of a method defined in the parent class. Q4. How does a hash map work internally in Java? Hash map uses an array of buckets and linked lists to store key value pairs. The hash code method of the key generates a hash, which is used to determine the bucket. Collision handling, when multiple keys generate the same bucket index, a linked list, or in Java 8 plus a balance tree, is used to store the entries. Q5. How do you handle an alert in Selenium? Can you provide an example? Handling alert. Use the alert interface in selenium.actions. You can accept, dismiss, retrieve alert text, and send input to the alert. Accept, to accept the alert, equivalent to clicking OK. Dismiss, to dismiss the alert, equivalent to clicking Cancel. Get text, to retrieve the text displayed on the alert. Send keys string input, to send input to the alert, used in prompt alerts. Q6. How do you handle dynamic elements that are loaded asynchronously using JavaScript, AJAX, in Selenium? When dealing with dynamic elements that are loaded asynchronously using JavaScript, AJAX, the main challenge is that the page might not update immediately, and elements might not be present or visible at the time you try to interact with them. Selenium provides ways to wait for such elements until they are available using explicit weights. Explicit wait, web driver wait, waits for specific conditions like presence, visibility, or clickability of elements. Fluent wait, sets polling intervals and ignores exceptions like no such element exception during weights. Polling mechanism regularly checks conditions at intervals. Avoiding fixed time waits. Methods to wait for dynamic elements presence of element located. Waits for an element to be present in the DOM. Visibility of element located. Waits for an element to be visible on the page. Element to be clickable. Waits for an element to be clickable. Q7. 
How can you implement parallel test execution in test ng? Provide an example. In test ng, parallel test execution can be implemented to run multiple tests simultaneously, which helps in reducing the overall execution time. There are several ways to achieve this. Using parallel attribute in the test ng XML file, 1. You can configure parallel execution at the suite, test, or method level in the test ng XML configuration file using the parallel attribute. 2. You can also specify the thread count attribute to control the number of threads for parallel execution. Parallel execution at different levels tests level executes different test tags in parallel dot classes level executes test methods from different classes in parallel dot methods level executes all test methods in parallel q8 what are hooks in cucumber and how do you use them hooks in cucumber are special blocks of code that run before or after each scenario helping to set up or clean up the test environment. They allow you to define reusable actions, like initializing a browser, closing a browser, or resetting test data. How hooks work at before, use this to perform setup actions like opening a browser or setting up test data before executing each scenario. At after, use this to perform teardown actions like closing a browser or cleaning up data after each scenario. Q9. What is the difference between a data-driven and a keyword-driven framework in Selenium? Data-driven framework focuses on separating test data from test scripts. Test cases are executed with different data sets stored in external files. Characteristics data storage, external files, for example, Excel, CSV, script independence, Scripts are independent of test data. Flexibility, easy to test with multiple data sets. Implementation, scripts read data from external sources to execute tests. Advantages, flexibility, easier management of test data, and reusable scripts. Disadvantages, complex data management, overhead with external data sources. Keyword-driven framework separates test logic from test execution using keywords. Test cases are defined in a tabular format with keywords representing actions. Characteristics keyword definition represents actions. For example, click, enter text. Test data and actions defined in tables. Keywords are mapped to methods. Script modularity. Modular with methods corresponding to keywords. Advantages Separation of concerns, modular design, and user friendly for non technical users. Disadvantages Overhead with keyword maintenance, complexity with a large number of keywords. Q10 How does test automation fit into the agile development process? Early and continuous testing. Automated tests are developed alongside features in each sprint. Regression testing automation allows running regression tests frequently after every sprint. Test driven development TDD writing tests before code ensures test coverage from the beginning. Continuous integration slash continuous deployment C slash CD automation is integrated into C pipelines for fast feedback.